Now here, Francis, we have this head of Francis Bacon by Louis Le Brocchi, painted in 1979. How does that speak to you? Our image of any person is made up of multiple experiences that we have with them. Either many times that we met them over a period of time or images that we would have seen of them in the newspapers or whatever. And so our image of somebody isn't static. It's in our mind, it's an image that's always in flux. And he captures that. Like his other portraits, he teases the image out of the surface, and when it begins to solidify, he lets go again. So that you get this sense of multiple images coming together. And then creatively, the viewer has to participate in reconstructing the image. Don't you feel, looking at this image, that it has wonderful power? I agree, and it doesn't surprise me because Labrocki actually knew Bacon. He met him in the 1940s. So he's taken an image of Bacon that comes from knowing this person over not one or two years, but over decades. And he captures for me that ferocity in Bacon, that intense creative energy. You can see those eyes, the penetrating eyes, that determined look on his face, but it's not frozen in time. One senses that we see glimpses of Bacon coming to the surface, and it's a very convincing portrait for me. I think that it also elevates the idea of an artist, because Le Brocchi liked to paint icons of Irish culture. A lot of Le Brocchi's Portraits are of giant literary figures. This one is of another artist, an artist who he knew. And I think that um, that idea of an artist painting an artist shows that enormous respect that Le Brocchi must have had for him. Some of the portraits that he does are based on photographic images that he's looked at. He, he didn't know uh, Yeats, W.B. Yeats, he didn't know Joyce, but he knew Bacon. And I think that comes across. And I think that does come across. I think, Francis, another very appealing thing about this painting is the way Louis has kind of appeared to use two canvases. You've got the very light canvas around the head and then the outer canvas. The wonderful thing for me about it is that the inner portion around the head is lighter. Absolutely. And it reminds me of religious art, so that it gives the whole head a kind of magical aura, a kind of ethereal quality with that light around it. It's beautiful and it's subtle. People often say, well, Le Brocchi is not a colorist, you know, it's all these grey images, but look at the colour in that face. Look Everywhere. At the brilliance, they're little jewels set amid that grey surrounding. I think it's a, it's a beautiful... No, image. it's a gem.